Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. I am Nadine. Today I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on how the quail water is doing that I set up on their temporary hutch and how it's been working for us. So we moved their temporary setup back here to get it away from the house. The black plastic over the uh, bucket is keeping it from turning green, which is awesome. We haven't had, this is all just rainwater coming off of here. We haven't had any leaking from any of the connections anywhere. However, something I did change was the cups. The cups were leaking horribly and we were going through like five gallons of water a day. So basically a whole bucket a day. And <clears throat> Well, that's not good on a hot day, and I don't want to be running hoses out here and filling up five gallon buckets all the time. So I switched them out to the same watering nipples that I used for the, for the chickens. Hi, buddy. So these are the nipples that I have in here now, and you basically... I hear you. Um, anyway, you basically just need to touch the little metal thing here and droplets of water form on that little lip. And they're working out really, really well. The quail figured it out really quickly. And since we switched out the watering cups for the nipples, the five gallon bucket of water is lasting more like a week now instead of a day, which is awesome because the less I have to drag a hose out here, the better. And it guarantees that they have fresh water for a longer period of time. Also, um, I have a little bit of news regarding the quail. I found a guy um, in Wisconsin and he runs his own business. It's called Dale's Quails. And he specializes in quail hutches and brooders and things like that. And so I reached out to him and I got a <clears throat> custom quail hutch ordered and it is on the way. I'm super excited. I'm hoping that within the next week or so that will get here and I can get these guys switched over to their permanent home. So that'll be really exciting and I think they'll like it a ton. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Um, I'll be showing how to get it set up and kind of you know more details on that specific hutch later on as well as kind of a review of his product which i'm really excited to get so you can look forward to that in the near future Alrighty, guys so that pretty much wraps up this video here i just like i said just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the quail water and how it was working out for us and the little tweak that we made and make it a little bit more functional and less less wasteful as far as water goes um and yeah so that's basically it thank you guys so much for watching and remember to grow your planting